My wall right here, this is what I love. Look, look how, look how, look how smooth this is. What do you think it is? Look, look how, what do you think it's skinny. Look at her, her leg, it's the size of my arm. Nah, nah man, look, look. This is a big butt right here. I think Brooklyn guys like big butts. Yeah, mostly guys from Brooklyn like big butts. Like, I like big butts. What's a beautiful butt? J-Lo butt. That's a beautiful butt. J-Lo butt. What do you like about it, Tommy? It's nice and round, smooth, it looks soft. It's perfect. This booty's not big enough because you can see the string from top to bottom. A big booty won't be able to see it past this level to here. You won't be able to see it no more. All would you see was the big ass boyo that's right there. Would you rather somebody have like a little bit of like cellulite there than have like a small ass? Nah, no, no cellulite, no cellulite. So how? Smooth. Smooth, big ass, Smooth. no cellulite. No cellulite. Do and no and no stretch marks either. Stretch marks, cellulite, girls. You watching this documentary about beauty? Go to the gym, man. Stretch marks on Keep yourself in tone because men, I, I don't like stretch marks. This is perfect. Perfect ass. Perfect ass to have. Okay. As of a girl to be mine, perfect. Perfect girl for me. Okay. So you and you're saying that you think this is totally natural? Totally natural. Natural ass, natural. Back, natural titties, this girl right here, she is, that's smooth. That is silky, smooth skin. I know that's not airbrush. I could put a million dollars, that's not an airbrush. My name is Dominic DeMassi. I'm a digital retoucher, photo retoucher. The nature of my job is to not be seen. You know, if I, if my work, if it's obvious that I've, that I've worked something to death, then I've done a bad job. If it looks like it hasn't been touched at all, then I've been totally successful. So you can see originally she, her forehead had uh, a little bit of modeling in her skin where it was a little too bumpy and too much texture and there was a couple of pock marks on her cheek there. It wasn't all that much, but uh, we took most of that down and smoothed it out and we changed the tone of her skin a little bit more to match some of the makeup that they were selling. If you look here, you can see that uh, her knuckles are pretty knobby and uh, this finger is a little lumpy here. And if you look here, we smooth them down and tone them all down a little bit to make them seem a little less obtrusive. I find myself doing less of shaving models' hips down and shaving their waist down and more of like subduing their bones so that they look less skinny or filling her out to be a little bit more shapely where it may be bringing in the waist, but you're also bringing out her hips or bringing out her torso to make it seem like she's not so skinny. So it's not that they don't want that skinny look. Obviously, that's something that's appealing, but she can't look scrawny or sick. They are not going to go ahead with the photographer and keep something that is going to appear flawed or natural because they're not concerned with something that looks natural. They're concerned with something that is going to sell their product. This has caused a problem. This is, an, this is an issue in the world. It's not like I can sit here and say, well, you know, well, then if everybody who's affected by this, they're, they, you know, they're just weak and they're, they're, <laughs> they're bound to have uh, social and mental problems. That's not the case. I'm aware that this is something that, you know, is at a ground level where, you know, young people are seeing this and they are growing up with these being their icons and their images. Yeah, this has all been worked out. I'll tell you right off the bat, definitely the bathing suit has been colorized, color corrected in some way. Okay. What else? Uh, thighs were definitely smoothed out. Like I wish I can see. Where? Like all in this area. If you look kind of, it's hard to see on there, but if you kind of almost squint, you can almost see like there's a little pattern happening right there. Yeah, that's I'll just say that that's almost the same pattern. Oh, they all have their clothes. I'm sorry, as they're like coiling around and pushing that around to make it smooth out, they pick up one area and deposit another area. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's like the same pattern. Yeah, you look at the way that is, that sort of looks a little bit like that. Yeah, like the way it goes into the shadow in there, the color doesn't really go into the shadow. Yo, how the hell he knows? Because he knows. He does. 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 He
You don't cut a girl's asses. That shit is natural, B. Hold on, but let me, let me listen to this guy. Let, yeah, let me listen to this guy. If you look at that right there, you can see how her skin is really textured here, and then it's not textured, and then it's textured once again. She had a tan line that they took out. Or maybe a stretch mark? Yeah, probably. I mean, that's also an area where if you're sitting like that... Let me see that picture. It's usually not going to make one line like that. He don't know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna no. believe, I ain't gonna believe no. what Consumer I ain't gonna believe what that guy says. He's, he's a professional. He's a professional. He can pay for that. He talking about some lying shit over here. It ain't no lying, B. That shit is good. Oh, I'm talking about no here, dimples, no stretch marks, no cellulite. That shit look more natural here, yeah, nigga. Look at her shit there and look at look, her there. That's look at her fucking cellulite look right there. She look natural. Come on. Yeah, if they do that, they do that shit to, uh, all the time in the, in the internet and everything, man. They do that shit with all the movies. Yeah, but look how, look how good though this looks, man. I know, Papa. They get paid. I saw you get paid top dollars for that. Sex sells, man. So they, you know, they figure they take a little the airbrush, world. make the girls look more exotic. More people go out there, more money, more exposure, man. Sex sells. Ain't no money like home money. That shit don't look airbrushed right there. That's yeah, this shit don't look airbrushed. That shit don't see it because it ain't shiny. When it's shiny and shit, then you can, you know. Like restaurants. When restaurants saw a picture of their food. That's right. Ain't, ain't, ain't the same like what you get and they, they'll show you some, some nice little picture. Yeah, and then when they get it, they just give you, they just throw it on a plate, all smack it. Oh man, show me, like show me what I'm really. If this sandwich is messed up and that's what I'm eating, Put it on a picture, that's the way I'm yep. eating it. Don't show it nice yep. and then give it to me all sloppy. It's the same way they're giving the girls out. Yeah. False advertisement. I don't see photographs as being authentic or real. I see them as being mechanical uh, and non-human, uh, and particularly unhuman. So in the, I extend the inhuman qualities of it. You know, I'm extending the mechanical, inhuman, mechanically optical, not humanly optical qualities of, of, of photos. This, you know, the before on this, again, that's blotchy, irregular. I mean, you can see how, you know, it seems waxy, little marks in here, a little mark in there. Her nose, I mean, look at her nose. Almost always the first thing I'll do is fix the nose um, because I can't even start on the rest of it. It's a very waspish prejudice I have about this. Every picture has been worked on some 20, 30 rounds of going back and forth between the retouchers and, 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 and uh, the client and the agency. Uh, they are perfected to, to death. Just look, you know, you should just look through the magazines and just you know, consider it. And all that, all that is there to alter your mind, alter your conception of what, of what physical beauty is and what the possibility of attaining it is and what the means of attaining it are. There are the evened out freckles, there are real freckles. What you're looking for as a retoucher is, the, is the, a broom, something that covers your tracks, some way of obscuring where you've been. You know, and the first thing is people take out bloodshot eyes. That's the last thing I take out. I mean, the last thing I would like, you know, just wipe because that just makes it look retouched. You know, so you just stay away from You stay away from those obvious markers that just show, you know, that you've been there. Now, I didn't really take her mustache out, see? Most people, that'd be one of the first things they would do is take out the mustache. I don't take that out. I don't think, I don't find that displeasing. I mean, that's real. That's real and compelling. The fact that I leave that in makes it seem more real. In that, the, the essential point of, of retouching is to uh, enforce an unrealizable uh, standard of beauty. Uh, I suspect, I suspect in myself some sort of covert, uh, obscured misogyny, because um, I'm really screwing with people's sense of identity uh, and self worth by by doing this. I mean, she looks, she looks way too heavy. I mean, head's way too like powerful. <laughs> looks like it looks too, way too athletic. You know, she's supposed to look like you know, she's wearing. Look at the dress. What's that dress about? It's not. You know. It's, it's, She's not wearing jogging clothes here, you know, she's not playing soccer. She's supposed to be, this is a feminine dress. I've talked to people about, like, you know, they would say, oh, the people look so perfect there, it makes you feel bad. I'd be just like, well, you know, sucker, you know. Well, you know, what do you think? I mean, this, what we do, that's what they pay me to do. They pay me well to do it. I ain't know that shit, nigga. Come on, nigga, you know, I told her, I told her, this shit, it shit ain't airbrushed. Especially Trina has, you know, she got a fat ass. I really thought that shit was an airbrush. Until he explained. <laughs> My man had a lot of wet dreams to a lot of false images. And that's basically the... How the hell you know I got... To his age? Because you mad, man. You mad. Uh, no, nah, I'm mad, yeah, because that shit is... But they still... The picture still... Like, they're not really who they are, man. They're not really... They body, they they body, they color, they shape. is not the, the way it is right now.
Y'all done fucked this dream up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all done just blank. messed me up, man. Y'all done just messed up my head. Yeah. So you wanna tell me, yeah? Show a picture of the garbage. Every girl got, every girl got up there. Every girl got up there. Show me the garbage. It's just airbrush. Show me the garbage. The way they trying to market it, you know, to make more money so these girls got no flaws and we out there like oh these girls are so beautiful yeah, and it takes the beauty away from other girls out in the streets man there's other beautiful girls out there in the streets you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying that they can't afford that they seeing all this shit and they them girls are going on sell you like diets and doing all this crazy yeah, shit man bad. leave it alone keep it natural beauty you could have chest mom i don't oh yeah of course you know, because man. I mean, stretch everybody got their falls. Right. Ain't you know nobody, ain't right. nothing wrong with stretch marks. You know? I don't see any girls there with stretch marks on, B. Yeah, but reality, <laughs> you told me reality. That's what I'm saying, though. You say they look good, but. Nah, because then you'd kill it. So, oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Yo, you know what? They should do that. They should do that. They should leave the stretch marks on. Yeah. What do you want to do with these? Like, do you want to put them back up? Do you not want to put them back up? Yeah, I'm putting them I'm still putting them back up. But I, they still, they still my girls.